and welcome back to my channel it is ijoma here in today's video we are going to learn how to make this back yoke with a lace the back is laced and it has a yoke this round shaped yoke so here is the back bodies we'll be drafting our pattern first of all explain the back very well that's why i drafted the back so i have my zipper allowance you know for the back bodies you will always have your zipper allowance so this one that i'm drafting right now has a zipper allowance like the normal back bodies we sew we will start with the zipper allowance first of all then i will mark three inches for my neck width the normal round neck three inches then 1.5 for the neck depth you can make yours one inch it depends on how high you want your neckline to be then after that i will connect my neck and remember every measurement that you are taking for the back bodies will start from your zipper allowance line remember every measurement you are taking will start from the zipper allowance line the zipper allowance is not included then i will make my shoulder slant i used one inch for my shoulder slant and you will determine how deep you want your yoke to be so mine is eight inches for now then i'll go ahead and mark my dart line my dart line is four inches i have marked my four inches i'll mark my four inches down then at the side of this four inches line that i marked i will take out half an inch half an inch that is at the half length at the half length i will take out half an inch half an inch and then i will connect the dart line i will make the dart line to stop at one inch below our chest line you can see our chest line and the chest line is also the armhole line then from that 0 0.5 inch i will come down to the hip line i will connect my dart to my hip line so for now our back dart is settled we have gotten our back dart right now i will go ahead and take my boss measurement plus two inches seam allowance and remember if you are taking your boss measurement, start from the zipper line. I will mark my boss plus two inches seam allowance and I will mark for the waistline at the half length. I will take my waist measurement, waist measurement divided by four plus one inch for that. Remember that we took out 0 0.5, 0 0.5 for our dart. You add back your one inch and then add another two inches for your seam allowance. After that, you mark, divide your waist by four, add one inch for that and two inches for zipper allowance. Then at the hip line, I will measure my hip. I will measure my hip, my hip divided by four plus two inches seam allowance and I will mark then after that i will go ahead and connect my waistline to my hip line and i'll also connect my waistline to my bust measurements so at the end of the day if you want you can slant the down part of your body i will go up by three inches at the side and i will slant i am slanting my back bodies then i will connect my waist to my bust so right now i will go ahead and cut off these our basic back bodies this is the basic back bodies then after that you will start taking out our lacing area our yoke and all that so for now this is what we have i have my normal round neck so for my yoke i want to make my back yoke to be curved a bit you can see i told you guys that i want my yoke to stop at the chest line right but i want to make it curvy a bit then i'll come down by one inch from the chest line i'll come down by one inch and i will go ahead and curve my back yoke a bit i don't want it to be straight but if you want to make your straight fine if you want to make it round fine if you want to make it to have a v shape fine as well so right now i will go ahead and curve my back yoke area a bit i came down by one inch from my chest line and you can see what i have right there 
right now remember that we don't need our zipper allowance i'll label my yoke first of all remember that we don't need this zipper allowance because we are going to lace our back we don't need this zipper allowance at all what i'm going to do right now is to cut off this zipper allowance i want to follow everything step by step so that we can understand i will go ahead and cut off the zipper allowance so the zipper allowance is gone for now this is the back without zipper allowance we are going to lace it so it depends on how you want your back lacing to be if you want the space to be very wide you are free to determine that if you want it to be close you are also free so this place that i'm marking a dot now is where we are going to add our button remember the yoke will have a button so that place that i marked that dot is for our button so what we are going to do right now is to determine how wide we want our round yoke to be you know the yoke will have a round shape so i want to make it three and a half you can make it four but i want to make mine three and a half so at the chest line i will go in by 3.5 i'll go in by 3.5 and i will mark i will just indicate or you can make it four i decided to make it four at the end of the day then from there you will mark your round shape for the round shape of the yoke remember this yoke has a normal neckline the place there i marked three by 1.5 then this round one is the area that will join to the back bodies so i want my yoke to have that round shape so you can see i am tracing and for now our round opening at the back is out now and i'll go ahead and cut it so i'll go ahead and cut it off so that we can understand so you will do this before you determine how you want your lacing area to be our normal neckline is off our round opening is off right now you will take out two inches or three inches remember that the back is on fold you will take out two inches or three inches for the wideness of your lacing like the lacing of the back will be four inches apart so i want my own lacing to have this v shape like as i'm tying it if i'm coming down it will be coming closer so that's why i made mine to have this v shape if you want you can make that two inches straight down so this area that i am shading right now is the area that i will cut off this is where our lacing will come in my lace at the back we have a v shape if you want to make it straight that means you will measure that two inches straight down to the hip line or straight down to the full length of this dress so this corset i'm making is an inbuilt corset that's why the length is much but if you are making a gown you will stop at the half length so this round this place that i'm marking a dot right now I want to indicate where our bottom will be. This is where our bottom will be. You will indicate where our bottom will be. And I can go ahead and label that place bottom. Remember that the yoke area will have a bottom. You can use your normal fabric or you can use a skin net for your yoke. So right now, I will cut off my yoke. So my yoke is off and the main back bodies is of two so right now i'll cut it out on this lining so that we can understand better i want to illustrate with this lining so this is the back and remember the back will be two so i am cutting off i'll go ahead and cut so after cutting that i'll also use this lining for my yoke but if you are making a proper dress you can use your main fabric or your skin net for your yoke and remember you will double your skin net if you are using a skin net so this is for the yoke i'll also go ahead and cut out my yoke go ahead and cut out my yoke so you can see that the neckline is still intact the neckline is still intact i mean the area where you 
at your button is still intact so right now i will go ahead and arrange them so that we can understand here is the main back bodies this one that i'm holding right now i will open them up so if i open up and place you can see what i have you can see the v lace shape that i am talking about like if you are tying your back you can see the v shape it has then i will also go ahead and add my yoke you can see that the round shape of the yoke has come out as well then the button area you can just fix a small loop around that button area at one side of the button area then you add your button to the other side and that is all for today if i'm sewing this i will film and i'll upload the sewing process as well you can as well register for our february classes our february classes will start on the 10th of february you can as well register just chat me up on instagram at sew with ijoma see you all in my next video thank you and god bless you bye